So Carlos, congratulations. Uh, you know, we finally get the hardware for uh, for the Cosmos for the fall season. Talk a little bit about uh, that, what that success means to the team. Yeah, you know, uh, thank you, first off. And uh, it means a lot, of course, to put ourselves in a position to... Uh, to be playing in the soccer ball and playing for the cup, and uh, we're very excited. But uh, yeah, so this is uh, we realize we still have work to do, and, and we're looking forward to Atlanta. And they're a very good team, and, and it should be a great atmosphere. So we'll, we'll work and continue to improve, and, and hopefully uh, bring home the, uh, the soccer ball at, at the end of the year. And Commissioner you kind of touched on this: is that a lot of you guys didn't know each other a year ago. So for you guys to really create the chemistry and the camaraderie, and you as captain obviously have something to do with that. Talk a little bit about how you've been able to come together as a as a franchise and as a team to be this successful? I think uh, credit to the to the staff and front office. I mean, we were very lucky to play for such a, a great club and a great staff, and they've brought in great great people. So I think that it's been easy to gel. It's been easy to be to play on this team, to be a leader. And, uh, you know, I'm one of the older guys, but uh, every, every player you know, comes in every day with a positive attitude and, and uh, ready to work. So, you know, in that sense, it's been easy, and I credit that to the staff. So we have an incredible group of guys and obviously talented players, but that's been key for us to be able to gel and kind of mature as a team. Carlos, talk a little bit about you know the fact that this is you know you've you've been around the block you've been you know this is uh, you know you're in your 30s this is uh, really sort of a highlight of your career in, in many ways to be able to come home and play in front of home fans and family and stuff talk about that a little bit this season and what this means to you that way yeah I mean for me it's uh, you know it's an honor a dream come true I get to play uh, in my hometown in front of family and friends for for a team that you know. It's so special, the history and tradition, and, I, and you know, growing up in this area, I know how, what the Cosmos name is it. and what it means. And, uh, to be a part of it now is, is, is amazing. So it's an honor, and uh, the, the the fans, the people have been excellent here and uh, the response to the team, and we're very proud. And like I said, hopefully it'll continue to grow. We'll, we'll continue to uh, continue to improve as a team. Eric, talk a little bit about the success of the organization, trying to pull everything together here and you know, such a short period of time and now, you know, winning the fall trophy and, and going now to the NASL soccer ball. Well, you know, I think it was a, a lot of work in a really short amount of time, but you know, most of the credit goes to the guys behind me here. Uh, the players really put in the effort. They're first class individuals off the field and I think it carries on onto the field and the way they play and the effort they put into it. And you see that in the in the last second goals and, and pulling three points out of a draw that we did a few times this year. So uh, high character individuals on the field, the coaching staff. So you know we're very proud of our first year. So talk a little bit. There's a, a, a an obvious challenge here. You're going down to Atlanta to play the last game of the season, and then you're back in Atlanta for the NASL Soccer Bowl right. playing against Atlanta again. You know, as far as administratively, you know that that creates a few challenges. No, well, actually, I think it's going to work out for us. Had we needed to get points this last game, I, I would have been far more worried about it. But uh, it, it's good that we get down there. We can see a few things. All of our players get a little comfortable. They'll play on the field. You know, whether it's in in training leading up to that match or in the match. Uh, so I think that actually may help us a little bit. Uh, it'll feel a little more like home. It won't be such a, a you know a home field advantage for Atlanta. Um, so, from that point of view, I think it worked out. It was an interesting coincidence, and I, I'm glad we got the the win in San Antonio. Great. I talk a little bit about your own personal experience. You know, being here on the island, getting the the you know this organization that everyone knows off the ground. You know, there are lots of challenges, lots of weight on your shoulders to create that. And now here you are on the verge of really delivering in your very first year. You know, talk a little bit about that. Well, I think everybody in, in Long Island and Queens, the five boroughs, they, they've been very supportive, ha happy to see the Cosmos back. So to come from that, uh, that mindset is actually very helpful for us. So we're, we're really appreciate it, appreciative of that. Um, but for me, this is, you know, we, we, when we won in San Antonio, I didn't celebrate, you know, got on the plane, came back home. This is just uh, the first step. We have to do well in the soccer bowl. Hopefully we win it. Uh, and then it's right back to business and getting ready for next year. We need to build our, our season ticket base. We need to bring in some more sponsors, more partners in the market to, to help us grow this team. So we have a grand vision, and uh, we're taking that very seriously. So there's not uh, a lot of rest for the weary right now.